Obviously, for those of you that want to know about my nutrition, you've also asked about supplements. So I'm going to try and give this to you uh, in a nutshell. But the most important three supplements for me over the last year, especially training under John Meadows, um, have been these three. And really what they afforded me the opportunity to do was take my training from four days a week to seven. Um, you know, on a leg day with John, sometimes I was sore for four days. And within probably three, two to three weeks of using these three supplements from Biotest, um, you know, legs, a brutal leg workout, I will still be sore, I admit that. Um, but it's maybe one day. You know, I train legs on Monday and by Thursday, I do a secondary leg workout. So Indigo 3G is basically a supplement that um, helps drive nutrients. Um, there's so much carbs and protein, um, di and tripeptide protein, um, and uh, highly branched cyclical dexatran and those type of carbs in here that on a leg day, you know, I might take four servings. So you could be, you know, 100 and, 150 grams of carbs or so and, um, and upwards of 60 grams of protein. To actually be able to assimilate that during a leg workout, this helps with that. Um, it, it basically tells um, fat cells don't store um, and tells muscle cells to absorb. Um, I haven't seen any other supplement like this on the market, but I don't know all the science behind it, but I, I know that these three work and this helps drive nutrients. Um, and then MAG-10 is their basically their protein um, or one of their proteins. It's got 11 grams of carbs and, and um, 20 grams of protein per serving. And what I typically will do, as I'll, you'll see in, the, in this article, is uh, I'll pulse with this twice before a workout. Um, and then sometimes, depending on how late in the day my workout is, I may pulse again with it at the end of the day. But if I had to just pick three supplements, period, these would be the three, simply because it's not something where when you take a supplement, you're like, oh, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. These absolutely revolutionized my recovery ability, and, um, and I, wouldn't, I wouldn't train without them because I just simply can't train with the volume and the intensity. So anyway, that's those. Um, I'll just go through some of the others. You know, you got the, the basic um, super nutrition multivitamin. I try to stick with things that are food based. I really like this one. Um, another thing when dieting, your immune system tends to get suppressed. So I'm always grabbing anything I can that would help boost the immune system. Um, this is goat milk colostrum. Um, I've read a, a number of things that, that talk about how um, colostrum with uh, immunoglobulins and growth factors and peptides and such help uh, boost the immune system. So I take this particularly when dieting. Uh, another product that falls within there, um, that category, is uh, Allicin, which is basically um, an extract of uh, garlic, which is highly antiviral. Um, I don't like garlic particularly well, uh, but I'll take this uh, to help with the immune system. Um, another supplement that helps with immune system as well as my joints, um, I think it also helps facilitate body composition, um, EPA, DHA, CLA, blend of flame out um, from Biotest. I take usually two of these capsules with every meal. Um, in terms of inflammation, i found that curcumin um, actually helps joints um, um, more so than like a glucosamine or something supplement. I've tried those and I, I just don't s seem to get much benefit from them and it seems like there's research that says it's some that says it's good, some that says it's bad. What I do know is taking you know this in upwards of uh, two grams a day has really helped with joints, uh, my joints and inflammation. Uh, chronic inflammation is a problem. Acute inflammation is our body's way of defending itself from trauma. So, you know, acute is okay. 
um, but Chronic is not, and so I really like curcumin. Um, Res-V is, is a highly pure resveratrol supplement, and there's been some research that says it's uh, anti-estrogen and uh, helps support testosterone um, production, and it's also, you've also heard about it from red wine and such, that it's very antioxidant, so I take that high in antioxidants. Before I go to bed, probably a lot of people have heard about ZMA. This tends to, for me, to help me to sleep better. Sometimes, you know, especially if you're taking fat burners or whatnot while you're training, um, you may have a problem falling asleep. Uh, this tends to help me fall asleep. Um, sort of along this that line um, <clears throat> is this mineral support and because of the magnesium in it, they say to take it at nighttime. What I typically do is I'll take the ZMA before I go to bed, and I always wake up in the middle of the night, so I usually have a serving of this, mainly because I sweat so much um, between training, hot yoga, my sauna. Um, I want to make sure that everything, all my minerals are replenished, so I do take that as well. Along the lines of anti-estrogen um, and supporting a balance of testosterone, uh, DIM, which is short for a word I can't pronounce, um, is great um, for uh, creating that balance of estrogen and testosterone. So I take this morning and night um, upwards of 600 milligrams. Uh, all the food that we eat, this is uh, Parazyme. There's a ton of different digestive enzyme supplements out there. I have tried a number of them and I, I like this one pretty good. It's got HCI, L-glutamine, and an enzyme blend in it and it seems to work well. Um, sometimes it helps to rotate between them, I think, because I don't know if your body just gets used to it, but I like this one personally. Uh, fiber supplements, especially if you're you know not eating a lot of carbs are very important. I like um, super seed, it, uh, I'll mix that in with protein and I usually take it before I go to bed because it's filling and then I don't wake up starving during a diet. Vitamin mineral greens uh, by Health Force uh, Nutrition is, is another great supplement. I take it partly for the fiber but it's just, it's packed full of um, different greens and it's organic. Um, and. Um, yeah, I just think it's good overall nutrition uh, to help support your health. And then lastly, before I go to bed, I usually take Metabolic Drive, uh, primarily for the micellar casein, which is a slow digesting protein that uh, can stick with you for six hours or so. So, um, you know, you're feeding your body throughout the night with, um, with protein. And so, that in a nutshell, I don't know, to some people it might seem like a lot. That's actually not everything that I take. But it's, uh, those, are the, those are the ones if I had to really narrow it down and choose, these are the ones that I would pick. Uh, but like I said, if it was just three, um, Meg 10, Plasma, and Indigo 3G have absolutely um, changed the way that I recover from workouts. And um, I literally don't train without Plasma and take May 10 throughout the day. So the rest of the article will explain my diet and supplements, but uh, I thought I would throw in a video for your benefit as well. Thanks.